Liquors from Team Honey Badgers by April Miller, Rex Boehner, Evan Doe, and Sabrina Hadley. Island Liquors is a local alcohol shop in Marietta Island, Florida. The store has many regular customers. The staff is a very friendly, hardworking group of people. And a new hire spots one of her co-workers slipping people alcohol for discounted prices. She then faces a decision of telling the manager or not. Instead, she calls the hotline and has an undercover loss prevention person come into the store. The loss prevention man convinces the thieving cashier to trade him alcohol for weed. When the cashier agrees to this, the loss prevention man knows he's hit the jackpot. He then reports his findings to the manager and is later notified. The manager, who is recently impressed with this employee's hard work, is forced to fire him. Explanation and Plot Overall, this TV series portrays a situation where a young employee is faced with a decision to make. Whether she wants to be a whistleblower or throw her friend under the bus, or whether she wants to continue witnessing unethical behavior in the work environment. She ultimately chooses the right thing to do, then the manager is faced with an ethical dilemma to fire or not to fire her most experienced employee. Overall, this storyline displays how to be an effective manager and employee. Managerial ethics. Managerial ethics refers to the moral guidance a supervisor provides to his or her employees. Ethical dilemma is when a manager or employee have to decide between two valid and arguably competing objects. Whistleblower, an employee who discloses information about some kind of unethical behavior that has taken place within the work environment. We will accomplish our TV series through multiple short video clips. Meet our characters, Kelly, John, Stephanie, and Max. Kelly has been store manager for six years for Island Liquor Company. She is well known at the company for her high sales, but recently the sales and the inventory have not been in line. She is known to be one of the nicest managers and very friendly to an extent with her team of employees and customers. However, in the line of business, she does always have to make sure everyone and all of her employees are in compliance. John. He is a 23-year-old college dropout and has now been working as a cashier at Island Liquors for two months. John has had all sorts of troubles throughout his short life. Besides dropping out of college, he has also been in and out of rehab for drugs. He is a super laid back employee. The manager even considers him too chill. However, he has made many connections with the customers and is kept around because he brings good business. Stephanie. A 20-year-old college student, she comes from a small town of North Carolina where she grew up with two parents that raised her with great values. She has a sweet southern charm about her. Stephanie is also very friendly and hardworking. She takes pride in helping out the community and her customers. Max. A 25-year-old male who was recently hired within Island's liquor store company. With his history in law enforcement, he nailed a position within loss prevention and is now made a detective. 
Max is ready for any challenge and was called in for an assignment upon suspicion. The liquor store case is very normal situation and not too difficult as this will be Max's first as undercover assignment. He is inexperienced but very confident and eager to get to the bottom of the company's unknown liquor thief. For episode one, Island Liquors is located in Merritt Island, Florida. It has been there for over 15 years. It is your average neighborhood liquor store. The customers are regulars there and the staff knows most of them by name. Kelly, the store manager, has been there for the past six years. She treats her staff like they are family. Stephanie is the newest hire. She starts to notice that not everyone who works there is as honest as she thinks they are. For episode two, it is a usual day in the liquor store. John Cook, Stephanie, and Kelly are all working as it is a busy Saturday. Kelly decides around lunchtime that she is going to pick up lunch for both John and Stephanie. When she leaves, this puts John in charge of everything. Stephanie, as usual, is stocking the shelves with back stock as they have been getting slammed with a lot of purchases that day. Stephanie notices that a few regulars who are also friends with John come to buy some alcohol. She catches John slip them a few top shelf bottles of high class liquor without ringing it up. Stephanie is shocked as she didn't expect John, who trained her in the store, to do something so unethical. She doesn't know if she should tell Kelly or not because of how nice John is to her. She also debates on calling the hotline for suspicious activity. In episode three, in this episode, Max gets a call from Suspicious Activity Hotline with a suggestion that John may be giving away merchandise for free. Max calls Kelly and advises her of the tip. They initiate a plan to get proof before taking action on John. The next day, Max enters the store just after Kelly leaves for lunch. He approaches John and makes small talk. Max then brings up that he saw him give some kids a couple bottles free of charge the day prior and was wondering how he could get the same discount. Max explains he can offer a quid pro quo deal. John takes the bait and asks Max what he can offer. When Max offers marijuana, John immediately agrees. Max explains he doesn't have the drugs on him, but will return with them later. Max exits the store and pulls out his tape recorder to ensure he had the proof. He then meets up with Kelly to advise her about John. Episode 4. With the upper level management and the investigators' findings, the manager Kelly Miller has been notified about her store being under an investigation for the past several months. She is presented with the results from their findings and is shocked when she finds out that her top store clerk has made a deal with the undercover detective to give him free liquor in exchange for marijuana. Kelly knows John as a hard worker and was beginning to give him more hours to help with his family matters. Now she has to separate John from the rest of the employees and fire him for his wrongdoing, while at the same time looking past his hard work over the years. What has been done? We had trouble completing our first milestone, but we got back on track with 100% on our second one. We have now finished our midterm and hope to receive a good grade on it. After that, we will continue to strive to do excellent work as we get deeper into this project. Who is doing what? Overall, we all have been basically collaborating and doing the work together as a team. April has taken over as the leader of this group. So far, no specific task has been assigned to any particular person. However, as the project furthers, we will have to designate certain parts to certain people. 
Team Honey Badgers is looking forward to creating a brilliant management masterpiece.